from uh, beauty to functionality to solving problems. What are the design skills that you need? If you can elaborate more on details of the skills, is it just design skills or are there other skills that you need? Uh, I, hello, everybody. <laughs> um, I think this is an incredible question that is necessary for all of us to understand. The skills to be a fashion designers are not that obvious. And we all think that if we can sketch, or if we love fashion, or if we think that we look good in, in uh, fashion and we understand what's going on in the world of fashion, we think that we can become fashion designers. Well, that is incorrect. Absolutely, I agree with you. I mean, if you can dive into the details of what other aspects do you need in order to, to develop yourself? You know, when I first started, I had no idea what did I need to become a fashion designer at this level. All I thought in my mind is that I will become a very famous fashion designer no matter what. So this was something that was established in my head, in my mind, way before I started my own company. So there was something brewing already that no matter what, I will not fail. Yes. So basically, in order to be a fashion designer and to have a career in fashion, you need to know that it's important that you're gonna go into something that is very difficult and you're gonna go and do it and not fail. So that's ambition. Exactly, and I'm sure there's a lot of obstacles that you face in order to get to your goal. So, I mean, that's something that's very common in this industry. Uh, I'm sure all of you don't know the industry inside out, and it's time for us all to explain it to you. This industry is a very difficult industry. It looks fabulous from the outside. It's like luxury, and uh, everything looks fabulous, and it's partying, and all of yeah. that. But behind the scenes, it's quite different. So behind the scenes, there's a lot of hard work. Again, if I go back to my beginning, I'm 20 years in this business, and before that, I had a lifetime of experience before I got to the stage to say that I'm going to, I am going to be a fashion designer. So let me take you back a little bit. I was a little girl, and uh, I had a live-in seamstress. So I learned the know-how of how to sew. I didn't know how to sew, but I learned the know-how. So for 15 years, from the day I was five years old until I was 20 years old, I learned the inside of how to produce a product. After that, I went to, uh, and got an education, and then after that education, this is what uh, kind of my beginning started. So, so I feel that a lot of people that are in this industry, they jump from the core to, to directly wanting to be that face in fashion. So what is it that you need? What are the core things that you need to develop? Because w designing is not enough. There are so many things that come after that that lead you to developing, uh, to becoming a well-known fashion designer. So maybe you can enlighten us with that. Uh, sure. I mean, it's nothing that I can list quickly like this, but... Uh of course, you need the know-how of uh, what's going on in the fashion industry. You need to be able to have a talent before anything else, and the talent is multiple talents. You have to be able to drape, to find solutions, to have a technical skill to understand how to produce a product. You have to have an ambition, hard work, uh, understand how to manage people, understand how to manage a design room, understand your vision. You have to be able to have a vision. And you have to be able to have something that differentiates you from anyone else. So you have to have a style Absolutely. that you already believe in and know that this is your own style. Yes, and also, I mean, this industry and a lot of other industries are very competitive. But I feel like a lot of people forget 
what their main goal is and what their vision is. And they're so distracted with all the competition, whereas their focus should be always on their goal. So competition is healthy, yes, but don't let it distract you from, from your goal. So maybe you can give us more insight uh, on that. Absolutely. I always look at competition. We research, we find out what are they doing, what are their prices, and all of that. But at the end of the day, I put this on the side, yes. and I focus yes. on who I am and what I want to do who I am, and I believe always that I'm way be, be, before anyone else. I am the it one. I am the one that's going to lead the industry and not be behind it. So always I think forward, and therefore I can establish myself and understand who I am before I can compete with Absolutely. anyone else. And that's very important, to know who you are first before you actually dive into the whole fiasco of uh, you know competition. So um, going back to innovation, I would like to like really understand how, uh, from your experience and your, how do you always revisit established solution and how do you continually innovate uh, through your designs, through your interactions with other designers? Would you please give us more details about that? Okay, um, when I first started th 20 years ago, my own business, I had a, a, a mood and my mood came from the Middle East. I knew that I was different than anyone else, and I was in the right place in the right time. So basically, how do I renovate myself? At the very beginning, I knew exactly